Hi YouTube, and welcome back to my lab. Today, I'll be synthesizing benzonitrile. In this synthesis, I'll be using 87 grams of benzamide, along with 100 grams of ammonium sulfamate, both of which I have made in a previous video. Ammonium sulfamate is used in slight molar excess in order to maximize our yield from the starting benzamide. Both dried reagents were then added into a 500 milliliter round bottom flask along with a stir bar and into a heating mantle. The flask was then set up for simple distillation. Typically, benzonitrile and related nitriles are produced using either toxic cyanide salts or from the reaction of amides with strong dehydrating agents such as phosphorus pentoxide. Other routes exist, but generally forming nitriles is not easy nor safe for home chemists. To begin the reaction, the flask is heated to 155 degrees Celsius, by which point our benzamide and ammonium sulfamate melt together. After the 30 minute mark, we can see some small amount of water is released, which means my reagents weren't as dried as I hoped they were, but this shouldn't present too much of an issue. One hour. After three hours, we notice some of the benzamide has sublimed into the upper portions of the flask and the distillation apparatus. Between 150 and 160 degrees Celsius, the first part of the reaction begins where ammonium sulfamate reacts with benzamide to form an ammonium and benzoyl sulfamate intermediate with the liberation of ammonia gas. This reaction is reported to work for both primary alkyl amides, such as acetamide, as well as aromatic amides. I lifted the flask at 3 hours and 30 minutes into the reaction, and we can see the presence of some insoluble solids in the flask, which I believe to be the intermediate product. Both benzamide and ammonium sulfamate should have been molten by this stage. The reaction mixture temperature is slowly raised to 200 degrees over the course of an hour and a half and held at 200 degrees for a total of two and a half hours. Due to the high temperatures, I covered the flask with some aluminium foil to help minimize heat losses as well as hopefully melt any benzamide off the walls of the flask and back into the mixture. At temperatures above 190 degrees Celsius, the second part of the reaction occurs where our ammonium and benzoyl sulfamate intermediate decomposes into ammonium bisulfate and our product, benzonitrile, which we can see is boiling in the flask. Overall, in this reaction, ammonium sulfamate acts as our dehydrating agent, removing the equivalent of a water molecule from the benzamide and forming our desired product. At this point, we would expect to begin collecting our benzonitrile product by distillation. However, benzonitrile boiling at 191 degrees Celsius is so close to the reaction conditions that very little actually distills over. Because the benzonitrile didn't distill over, I decided I would opt to perform steam distillation to obtain my product. For more volatile nitriles, they can be distilled directly from the mixture. The mixture was allowed to cool back to near room temperature, at which point 300 milliliters of water was added. The contents of the round bottom flask were then emptied into a large 1D conical flask in preparation for steam distillation. Prior to distillation, I wanted to check the pH of the solution since nitriles undergo hydrolysis in both acidic and basic conditions. Using litmus paper, I tested the pH of the solution and it seemed to be around 6. In this case, I added a very small amount of sodium hydroxide solution, but this isn't too necessary as the pH was already so close to neutral. The 1 litre flask was then topped up with water to approximately 900 milliliters, set up for distillation, and heated to boil. Our 
I also decided to insulate the flask with some aluminium foil. Once the solution started boiling, we can see some oily droplets of benzoyl nitrile coming over with water. This was continued until no more oily droplets were apparent in the condenser. Distillation took 7 hours in total. At the end of distillation, the distillate was separated in a separatory funnel. The upper benzonitrile layer was kept while discarding the lower aqueous layer. The benzene nitrile was washed with distilled water for a total of two times. In this video, I'll only be showing the first washing step. The product was dried with around 4 grams of calcium chloride in order to absorb any water. The final benzonitrile product was then decanted into a pre-weighed amber glass bottle for storage. From this procedure, I obtained 49 grams of benzonitrile, which represents a percentage yield of 66%. In the original procedure, which I've linked in the description below, they claim yields of between 80 to low 90s are achievable. Overall, I'd say my experiment was a success, as not only did I attempt steam distillation, but I also had to make a guess on how long the reaction should run as literature did not provide any timeframes. Therefore, it is very possible that the reaction might take longer or is not completed in less time. This presents a great opportunity for future optimization. Anyways, thank you so much for the watch. Hit that like button if you want to see more chemistry content. And also let me know in the comments below if you would like to see me producing acetonitrile or another nitrile in the same manner.